UK's manufacturing sector collapsed like a warm Easter egg. Where did all the workers go? Well, today, over a million of them are employed in one of these. It's called a supermarket. It's much more than a place to buy cheese, chops, chocks and cheap chicken, and chicory and chives. Hello, Alan Partridge, you must be Paul. Uh, it's, it's David. Right. This was store manager David, David Paul. Place. It really is like an enormous cathedral, isn't it? Where, where people come to worship shampoo and grapes. That's right, yeah. Uh, yeah. But you don't own the store, do you? Uh, no, I'm the manager. The manager, of course, yeah, absolutely. I love the hot flush from the uh, warm air curtain on entry. David had agreed to let me do a shift in store to experience firsthand what it was like to work on the front line of modern retail. We you checked your eggs? Yeah, just a bit of chicken shit, but we all follow through now and again, don't we? Men may take all the top jobs in driving and science, but across the UK, women dominate nearly all forms of till-based employment. But could I, as a man, pass muster or scan mustard? My wife left me for a fitness instructor. Morning. Morning. Do you want to pop your things on the uh, conveyor? Don't worry about that, we're just making a documentary. Want you pop your things on the conveyor belt? No, not the basket, just the items. Oh, well, don't, don't put them on the floor, because you have to keep bending down to pick them up. So just, just pop back at the end. That's all right. Yeah, but not on the conveyor at the very end. OK. Should we scan your items? OK. Yeah, well, no, don't bring them to me. Um, I, I, I move them forward like this. So just so put the beans back. No, not in the basket. Not in the basket. No, don't bring them to me. Just put them on the conveyor. No, back at the end. No, not in the basket. Put the beans down on the conveyor belt. Now, get off. No, down, leave the beans alone. Not in the basket, on the conveyor belt. Alan. She's not listening to me. What are you doing? But as my shift on the tills wore on, I realised something extraordinary. I was absolutely brilliant at scanning. The female side of my brain, long dormant, had somehow been re-triggered. Some said I was scanning even quicker than Tesco lifer Pat Bevin. Pat could barely conceal her rage. It's 24.40, please, love. Take your time. Take your time. Have a very relaxing weekend. You've got some nice ingredients there. You go careful there now, my love. You all right packing? By entering a form of hyper-concentration, I'd achieved the holy grail of being able to chat and scan an almost zen-like state that would give the Dalai Lama a run for its money. You're right, packing. They call the bags for life, don't they? But uh, I must have two dozen of them in the boots of the car. Looking for self-raising flour. Al four, Chuck. They should call the bags for the drive home. Al, price on tap this pack of 40. Every time I get to the uh, checkout, I'm like, ah, oh, where's me, uh, where's me bags for life? I heard you were always going out with an old bag. Chance would be a fine thing. What aisle was the flour? Aisle four. One nineteen for the tetley. Thanks, Al. That's 1690. You go careful there now, my love. You're right, packing. These ladies enter this state each and every day, displaying the kind of physical and mental dexterity we normally associate with fighter pilots. Check out, women. The people of Britain salute you. Well, after some.